And we're back. Go up the hill. And ooh. New feature. These ridges are made from natural light that I pump in from the surface. If you rubbed your cheek on one, it would be like standing outside with the sun shining on your face. It would also set your hair on fire, so don't naturally do it. Okay, these things are called light bridges. And they're a bridge of light, just as the name goes. Um, we need to get over there with the cube. We need to get over there first. So, because cube drops over there, but it's behind this piece of glass. And you actually have to go around here, it's a bit of a maze. So, I have to get over there to press that button, because that button controls the cube dropper. So, I put it over there. But now I'm just going to take a shortcut. Now that's continuing to just spawn cubes. And I'm lined up with it. So I need to make sure that I don't. Um, kill myself by placing the wrong portal because this is what can keep you a pain in the butt. Okay, so I, I am lined up. Go up here and lines up here. I'm going to want to go down. So I have orange portal there. Blue portal is my anchor. There. Follow this here. One cube, gotcha. Go over here so you don't have to go through all that mess again. Now I have to go right there. Um, I'm assuming, yeah. Um, these ones, these panels are a little bit dirty. This one's perfectly clean, and that's your indicator to know which one to go to. Put this back up. Jump back on here, go through, down here, and back here. There, shortcut. You're a predator, and these tests are your Whoa. Prey. Speaking of which, I was researching sharks for an upcoming test. Do you know who else murders people who are only trying to help them? Did you guess sharks? Because that's wrong. The correct answer is nobody. Nobody but you is that pointlessly cruel. Okay, just to make sure that it was recording, and it was. Another light bridge level. Perfect. The door is malfunctioning. I guess I get that he's going to have to repair that too. No, don't get up. I'll be right back. Don't touch anything. Shut it right down. Ah, food! 
This is a one time thing. Yes, this one is a one time dropper. And we need to get it over there, but we need the light bridge. Whoa! Game's lagging. over here take it all the way or almost all the way over here and we need to put the orange pillow right there yes take this over here and walk on through now this one as it's completed On to the next one. So these are sort of easy. In the two-player mode, yes, there is a two-player mode that I will be doing with my friend. Um, they get really hard. This next test involves turrets. You remember them, right? They're the pale spherical things that are full of bullets. Oh wait, that's you in five seconds. Good luck. So she just introduced us to turrets. Turrets were introduced for the first time in the first game. And um, they are like a automatic weapon that you can find in like, the US military, where they just rapidly fire and you don't and you really have to press anything. Um, just like the lasers, they can uh, hit you a bit and you won't die. But you really have to be careful because it's it's not like real life where you can get shot once and you go down. Um, and I actually did it by accident. Um, you can um, if they're on a white tile, you can do portal blow and portal above somewhere else and um, they would go wherever that port would go or you could just knock them down push them over um, let's see here I need to do this there I am is that nope that's not it I need to get him out of my sight um, since he I had the orange one there what I'm going to do is put a blue port underneath them. Or not.
and it'll say critical error, that means that you've done it. So, blue portal. There he goes. I'm gonna remove this orange portal. And now here comes the fun part. Um, they see us, but that's fine because they're behind glass. So we're just going to do one right here, one right here, and kaboom. And again. And that gives it out the easiest way. And then. Put one over there. One over there. Now comes the difficult part. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this cube. Normally I'd use this to put on a button, which I believe we're actually supposed to do. But what I'm actually going to do is hold down the Q button to crouch and hold down the W button to walk forward and now I have a shield and there we go and that's how you get it done Oh. Dang it. Guess I have to go down. Um, this way. Another loading screen. So now you can see how all the floors is put in and whatnot. I think I think this is one of the coolest areas in the entire game. Anyway, we're gonna go up here onto this platform for a very easy test. We're gonna say how easy. Well, one thing's already connected, so all I have to do is take this cube, be very careful with this laser thing which you're gonna take this side step, side step, side step, go back. Go like that, drop, one, two, nope, 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 come on, why isn't it working? Shall I try from this angle? Whoa. There we go. I'm going to live forever, but you're going to be dead in 60 years. Well, I've been working on a belated birthday present for you. Well, more of a belated birthday medical procedure. Well, technically, it's a medical experiment. What's important is it's a present. So that's kind of funny that I talk about birthdays one night, because my birthday is actually coming up in a little more than a week. That jumpsuit you're wearing looks stupid. That's not me talking. It's right here in your file. On other people, it looks fine. But right here, a scientist has noted that on you it looks stupid. 
Well, what does a neckbearded old engineer know about fashion? He probably... Oh, wait. It's a she. Still, what does she know? Oh, wait. It says she has a medical degree. In fashion. From France. Are you still there? So I just zoomed past this guy. And I'm just gonna go... Whoop, whoop. Is anyone there? Oh, shit, right. Whoa! Okay. Orange Pearl is my savior right now, so like that. And I'm just gonna go past this one, these guys. Um, I can see they're all very excited to want to see to get me. Uh, I think I actually have to. Yeah, that's what I have to do. Um, just barely made that. Oh, shoot. They see me. That's close. That was close. Um, that button we do not want to activate just yet because what's going to happen is. You know, what I need to do is do that. No, what? Ah, yes, I was right, my bad. Um, so those guys right there are buying a piece of glass. When I do this, they still can't see me because I'm behind this uh, light bridge. So what I'm going to do is walk over here. There's only two of them. I'm going to now I kind of kind of find it funny to just walk into it. Goodbye. I'm going through the list of test subjects in cryogenic storage. I managed to find two with your last name. A man and a woman. So that's interesting. It's a small world. I have a surprise waiting for you after this next test. Telling you would spoil the surprise. So I'll just give you a hint. It involves meeting two people you haven't seen in a long time. I'm actually going to end this one right here. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care and have a good day.